Indiana honored dozens of Hoosier homesteaders. These are farming families, families who survived a hundred or more years of depressions, recessions, bad weather, and wars. Now, they could be victims of yet another war, a trade war. It is going to have an impact, and we're concerned about it. Concerned about the millions of pigs raised in Indiana and sold in other countries. Governor Suzanne Crouch is also Indiana's Secretary of Agriculture. We are the fifth largest pork producing state in the country. China is a large export partner. A partner that is threatening to impose a 25% tariff on pork imported from the U.S. in retaliation to President Trump's threat to impose higher tariffs on Chinese products imported to the U.S. Higher taxes could make Hoosier pork harder to sell in China. There's hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. Only four states produce more pork than Indiana. Hoosier farmers raise eight and a half million pigs a year. It's a $1.2 billion industry. China is the country's second biggest customer. The administration is already talking to the Hoosier delegation in Washington. To be sure that they're aware of our concerns so that we can weigh in at the federal level. What happens in Washington will be felt down on the farm. I talked with a number of farmers today. They, like farmers across the country, are concerned, they're worried, they're wondering what's going to happen next. There's other ag products that could figure into this grain as well. Pig farmers, though, they're already in a tough market and fear tariffs will make it even worse for them. John? All right.